All right. We gathered here today. Let me get my brother Carl. Oh, is the light on? Why is the light on? Because you're inside. Oh, because I'm inside? All right, this is Bishop Bowser speaking. And uh, we had our, uh, I'm at my birthday celebration, but also wedding anniversary celebration with my wife, Sister Carol Bowser, and myself, Bishop Bowser, and um, my good friend, Carl Etheridge, Mad Blue, <laughs> right? For real. Glad to see him smiling. Yeah, rolling with the OG, the bishop. <laughs> For real. <laughs> but, uh, but uh, yeah, this is our anniversary. So I, I just, I don't know, I, I got some questions I'm going to ask some of y'all. So uh, 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 I know we're going to get them, though. I'm here to ask you a question. He's getting ready to ask y'all a question. I'm here to ask you a question. Uh -huh. Me first? Yeah, so, so. Hey, what's up, Jordan? That's my grandson right there. So, uh, since Carol, you know, 38 years, we've been married 38 years. 38. So, what would you say to the sisters out there that want to get married and stay married? Uh, what, what would be the one top advice that you would offer to young ladies or any woman that hasn't arrived yet to where they're able to get a man and keep a man? Uh, what would you, what would the advice that you would offer them, especially the young ladies today? You don't have enough time, <laughs> Go ahead. but in short, prepare yourself now um, and keep in mind that it's not me or him, you guys become one. Uh -huh. There's no more two, you become one, you're a team, um, and you work together. We work together. Uh, we work together in everything, uh -huh. in everything. Uh, humble yourself, really get to know him and become what he needs. Uh -huh. I know that's that's gonna like go over a lot of people's heads, but become what he needs. Uh -huh. Find out what he wants and what his needs are and make yourself available. I know like um, early on when we got married and we used to talk a lot of times about marriage, not so much marriage, but people getting together and Folks, a lot of men, um, or I think, I'm going to put it this way, since a woman, a lot of women think that their looks and how beautiful they are, their body and so on, is what's going to keep a man. Um, I know some of the things that you would say to me, or what would you say to those young ladies about that they should take care of themselves and and, and, and especially, you know, if they want to get married and uh, and get a man that, you know, they want to attract someone to them. And so on and so forth. But as you know, get older things change. And what do you say to that as far as thinking looks is what's gonna make it all work? Looks is not gonna make it all work. Mm -hmm. It's the love and the relationship. The relationship with him, first with God, then with him, is what's gonna make it work. Because your your looks are gonna fade away. Mm -hmm. If you if you think your looks are going to keep him then you're gonna have to keep all that up that you're doing in order to keep him. But the more you age, um, after you have babies, your looks are gonna change. And so don't count on your looks to keep him. Right, don't count on your looks. All right, um, I wanna talk to a married man. This is, this is my son-in-law, Isaiah Roy. <laughs> What's going on, Facebook land? What would, what, would, what would be your advice to, because you're a young brother, right? How old are you? Tell me your age. 35. You're 35. Yes, you know, you're married to my daughter right there. But uh, what would you say to these these men that are simping and, and, and don't know how to level up and become the man that God wants them to be to lead their home? Talk to the simps? Yeah. And those that... that haven't stepped up yet, right? To to lead their home, to act more like beta males versus oh, being an alpha, being a being a leader. I would say, I would say, you gotta you gotta find you some strong brothers, some strong alpha males that are kind of like alter or change the mentality of how some of the brothers don't know. I would say getting around some strong men and. And about leadership, really. Right. People in leadership, because that's really where it starts at. People mm -hmm. in leadership. Not everybody is, you know, alpha male, but most of them are. 
because of the role and the, the position that they are in, uh -huh. they have to be. So I would say that. Um, probably change, you got to change the circle, man. Yeah. Literally. Yeah. You know, if you're like that, then nine times out of ten, you got homies or relatives that are like that too. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, exactly. So I would say that. Change, change your circle. Change your mentality. Mm -hmm. but should no woman, should no man be following a woman. Mm -hmm. Right. You know, just gotta put that out there. Absolutely, absolutely. Thank you, thank you, my brother. Uh, I, I just have one more um, uh, question um, for my brother here, Mad Blue. Carl, formerly West Coast Crip, Roman 20s like myself, both of us from the 20s. We were okay. back there when it started, you know. And, uh, you know, he just got out. Uh, well, he's been out about a year now, a year and a half. Did 30 years in prison, you know what I mean? And so, he's single right now. Yeah. Um, been hooking up with some people, but, um, you know, one of the things I, I um, an issue I had, my brother, was with um, these women, I mean, not so much with the brothers are getting out of prison, a lot of times it seems like they weren't taught to be a man, you know, they don't know how to stand on being a man and, and being the leader and so on, but they be wimping out, you know, and letting these women control them versus them being a strong black man and doing what they need to do. My thought was, and I could be wrong with this, is that prison really didn't help them to become a man, right? Um, but what is your opinion on that? My opinion is a lot Speak of times. Speak a little louder so we my, my opinion is a lot of times, after being a gone, gone and, and suffering incarceration so long, a lot of brothers be looking for that companionship. However, they settle. And when they settle, because it may be the sex or the looks or whatever, right. they get something that they really don't need or don't want. Uh -huh. And um, if you look truly strong, the man is supposed to be the leader. You don't allow the woman to run you. However, you give her her respect, but at the same time, understand this. Uh, a relationship is uh, a two-person thing. It's a team. And also, when it being a team, the man is supposed to lead. Right. And he is supposed to ensure that the household is financially good and his woman is spiritually in tune and strong at all right. times. Do you let me and not insecure. Let's back up a little bit. So do you think that does prison rob men, especially black men about their manhood? Or could I see a lot some of these guys getting out of prison seem like they're wimping out, you know what I mean? Not they are kind of like they are apples in the street yeah. and among their homies, but when they get a woman, they seem to be a beta male, they seem to be a wimp. Well, because a lot of these well a, a lot of these brothers um have been compromised. Okay. They have been compromised. They probably engaged in the things they shouldn't engage into, you know, sleeping with other dudes, just get oh. straight up to it. Yeah. You know, in the daytime they in southeast and at night they in Hillcrest. Gotcha. You know, because they I've seen them come into prison like that, where one day you might see them walking around the, the, the yard with, with transgenders or whatever. Uh -huh. um, however, the people who I associate with, that's completely uh, forbidden. That'll get you in some trouble. Right. So, so uh, those of us who have stayed as we are, solid 100% men, uh, we require a certain kind of woman. A okay. strong black queen uh -huh. that ain't gonna bend, ain't gonna break, ain't gonna be insecure. She knows where she stands. She don't gotta worry about where you at or what you're doing because right. she knows it's all business right. and you got it. Right. Bottom line. Okay. All right, you heard it. Uh, we're out here celebrating 38 years of marriage. You didn't ask so, Joy a question. So God bless you. Um, I'll ask you. <laughs> <laughs> she said, leave me alone. Don't be after me. Don't ask me All right. God bless you. We'll get you next time around.